This ball game in the record book, 38 to 14 is the final score. It was way too much too early. We have everything that a outdoor athletic sports, uh, from, from football to soccer to baseball to softball to track and field to the football practice fields. We even help maintain inside of Palmero on that synthetic turf over there. Um, so it's, it's a lot of work and I get questions all the time from people saying, oh, well you do baseball too or, oh, you do soccer. We literally have everything that any athletic team practices on outside. Uh, they do a great job. Our, our field, you know, is always in, in prime condition. Uh, you know, I think it's uh, been voted the last couple years as the best playing surface in all of college football. So they do just a, a tremendous job. It just, it doesn't just look great from the outside. Uh, different designs we put on the field, they do a great job with that stuff and, uh, and making it look good. But the quality of the field, how the field holds up in all types of weather, uh, it, it does make it the best playing surface in college football. We start preparations for game week back in April, May, when, when the Bermuda grass actually starts to wake up to green up. We start preparing for football season then. You know, we start getting everything ready, beating it up, tearing it up. You know, you have to pound this grass. You, a lot of people think, oh, you baby it, you baby it, you know, all that stuff. Well, we actually beat it up, airifying it, verticutting it, top dressing it, the whole nine yards. We have to beat this thing up so it will withstand the, uh, the pressures and the abuse that the college athletes put on it. Now, as far as once we get to the season and get through camps and high school jamborees and all of that stuff, we will be recuperating right before game week. So game week, first Monday and Tuesday, uh, we will start stringing out some of the logos, the end zones and, and stuff. We, we still have an old school method here when it comes as far to painting. We have everything you see painted out here minus the midfield logo and the two small logos which this year the midfield logo with the the new and improved big m state we do still use the old school method of nail and string and we will freehand all of the paint up next to the string making it as straight and crisp as possible that's monday and tuesday wednesday we will actually start painting it takes from wednesday morning at daylight until about friday at five six o'clock somewhere when we're you know up in there when we get through. As far as quantity of paint, we go through anywhere from 350 to 500 gallons of paint per game week. It's a, it's a lot of paint, it's, a, it's very hard on you, it's, it's very time consuming, but at the end of the day on Friday when you get to take that picture, it's, it's all worth it. personally like the surprise effect on fans. I like to hear their compliments, their complaints. Some like it, some don't, naturally. Uh, but I like to have that surprise effect. The border is really the only thing that I can change weekly. And so I like to throw a different, you know, throw a curveball in there. Some people like what I do, some people don't. I, I don't get too crazy with it, but it's, it's fun being able to change it up from week to week. I think that we have one of the best fields in college that I've played in since I've been here. Uh, the, the, the field's always very even. You're never going to find a pothole. You're never going to find a crown too big or anything like that. Uh, the grass is always cut really well. Uh, the the sideline design that they did last game was pretty was pretty sweet. They obviously do a phenomenal job taking care of our field, and we can't appreciate them more. 
I love our field. Um, it's my favorite field to play on for sure. You know, I love, you know, I love the grass. I think the field always looks very nice. Um, you know, Auburn game. I think that was my favorite uh, field preparation that we've had. And um, you know, our grass is will probably be, forever be my favorite to play on. I do it for the kids. Um, you know, I'm a washed up athlete. I couldn't make it to this level like, like some of these kids have. So the next best thing in my mind was to be around it every day was to do this. Back from even when I was in high school and junior high, I was always mowing yards and making money on the side and stuff like that, helping prepare, you know, athletic fields that I was playing on myself. So I, I had a desire to do this. And once I was no longer able to play anymore, I, you know, in high school, I never even knew there was a major for this. And when I got here and discovered it, I fell in love with it. And this, you know, this is what I chose to do and this is what I love to do.